Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here and today we're on the crew 2 and we'll be testing out the Infinity Q60 Project Black S concept. Just the Infinity Q60 I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll be testing it out and um, giving my verdict at the end. But if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and like while you're down there as well as it does help out the channel. And yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, the price of this vehicle I actually do have the price because I'm filming this straight after the Koenigsegg CCGT video um, I brought all of these cars because there's three new cars there's this one the Koenigsegg CCGT and the KTM um, they all came in a bundle uh, for about 1.8 million crew bucks um, so I couldn't actually find the individual prices of each of them when I was doing the Koenigsegg CCGT video but now I have found the the price of the Infinity Q60 and the price is 558,600 crew bucks and 79,800 crew credits so um, this vehicle is fairly expensive for a street racing vehicle but hopefully it means it's good <laughs> let's have a look let's have a look at the uh, performance uh, the customization and there is no customization whatsoever I did expect that because it is a unique style already you cannot change the color the livery or the visual parts normally with some of the vehicles you can at least change the livery so that's a bit disappointing but at least you can still change the vanity items if you wish okay then there's, there's no customization so let's just go straight into the performance parts um, actually before we put the 280 parts on let's have a look at the base version of this vehicle which is a 156 top speed just isn't calculated and it has 563 horsepower as well so uh, I can't really do much with them stats so let's put on the 280 parts and see how this vehicle looks with all 280 parts on I think I have enough I should do anyway I've got a lot of uh, a lot of purples now which is uh, I don't like, I just prefer all gold. <laughs> Alright, we have 280 parts on this vehicle now and the top speed is now 226 miles per hour uh, with 955 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, quarter mile in 9.43 seconds and brake distance 60 to 0 is 17.58 yards. So, I mean the stats don't blow me away, they, they are very average um, and for the price as well. It, they could be a little bit better but again this is what it looks like on paper now we're gonna see how it feels and actually is using this car in an actual event so uh, I'll see you at an event to see how this vehicle actually performs uh, nice it does sound nice as well Ooh, okay let's try it let's try this vehicle out it does sound nice and does look nice as well it looks very slick Obviously, I do like uh, minimalist, slick cars. I don't know why they just look more more professional, and I like it. I like it like that. I'm digging this a lot. So uh, let's see how this vehicle performs. Because points on the customization side are just non-existent. So hopefully the performance is good. Driving there actually felt very smooth, but um, let's see. Let's see. Come on, come on, Infinity. Show us what you got. Man, the, uh, the engine is popping off. Okay, we just drifted. <laughs> it feels, it doesn't feel as fast as many other vehicles I've tested out. Obviously, we are, well, we were lacking behind. And I would expect us to uh, actually make it past there. Mm, I mean, turning wise, it's decent. Turning wise, it does still feel a tiny bit clunky. Um, speed wise, I mean, we are not great. <laughs> we are sticking to about 140, 150 ish. Obviously, it doesn't help with the turns, but I mean, so far, it, I don't know. It's weird. It, it doesn't feel like anything. This car literally doesn't feel like anything. If you try this vehicle, this car feels like. I just can't explain it, it just doesn't feel like anything. It just feels very weird, like, it feels very... It feels clunky at times, but it does feel very smooth during other times. Like, here it feels clunky, I don't know why, but... 
when I'm going slower it feels very smooth I'm not sure why but it does like if I was to go like quite slow here it feels quite smooth like it feels smooth now but if I go really fast it feels quite clunky which is very very strange obviously this can be changed through pro settings but I haven't got any pro settings on as I just like to keep the vehicle as base as possible just to give a more accurate review to you guys and again this is my personal opinion of the vehicle but yeah so far I mean it's not bad it's definitely not bad I've definitely used worse vehicles in this game definitely used worse vehicles but it just feels odd like I've never used a vehicle like this before it sort of feels like a a Mitsubishi Lancer sort of that's what it, that's the closest vehicle I can describe it to but yeah it feels uh, feels very very weird but overall overall what would I give that vehicle including the price the customization wasn't there and the look and the uh, the performance I mean the performance wasn't bad I mean it was a decent vehicle it wasn't the greatest it was a decent vehicle uh, the price maybe you are overspending a little bit when you could get probably a better car or a better vehicle for the same amount of price uh, the customization there was none so I can't really give any points to that so overall I mean there is definitely better cars out there it does look nice the vehicle does look nice it does sound nice as well but performance it just isn't what I was expecting and there is definitely better performing vehicles out there so because of that I'm going to give this vehicle a 6.4 out of 10 it's just very very average it isn't anything special in my opinion I would only recommend you purchase this vehicle if you are used to the Mitsubishi type vehicles and stuff like that um, but if not then yeah I wouldn't really recommend purchasing this vehicle unless of course you have the money to buy it then go ahead um, but yeah I don't know that that is my personal opinion I don't know if that's just because I prefer uh, more you know more like the uh, the muscly Mustangs and stuff like that sort of or I don't know but that is my personal opinion tell me what you think of this vehicle down below if you have used it and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video peace